Hey everyone, my name is Alex Haney and today is Tuesday again, which means it's time for more queer outdoor ed with me. So this week I want to teach you guys how to keep a canoe tracking straight across the water with something called the J-stroke and I want to compare that to another stroke that is commonly used called the River J and just explain some of the pros and cons of those two, two strokes to you guys. So a classic novice paddler mistake is to switch sides in order to try to keep the canoe tracking straight across the water and what you end up doing is just wasting a lot of energy and zigzagging across the water like that. There's a much better way and that's called J-stroke. And if you're paddling tandem, you're going to be doing this from the back seat or the stern. Okay, so if you were just to get in your canoe and start paddling, just doing regular forward strokes or power strokes on the same side of the canoe, what would end up happening, uh, as you probably know if you've ever tried it, is that your canoe will just start turning towards that side that you're paddling on. So basically what J strokes are, they're just um, combining that forward stroke or power stroke with a course correcting action at the end of the stroke to make the whole motion resemble the letter J. So what you're doing with this stroke is you're pulling water towards you to get your canoe moving forward and then you're doing what's called a pry at the end of the stroke to push water away from your canoe. And that correcting part of the stroke is actually what keeps your canoe from veering off to the side and lets you just keep tracking in a straight line without having to switch sides. So what you're seeing me do in the video right now is actually something called the River J and you can tell this apart from just a regular J because I'm actually pointing my thumb up into the air when I'm twisting my wrist around to finish the curvy part of the J. So the reason why this stroke is called the River J is because it's actually really great for using when you're doing moving water or river trips because it's really powerful and punchy. But the problem with doing the River J on flat water is that basically what you're doing uh, is every time you're doing the prying part of the stroke, you're slowing your canoe down. So you're slowing down that forward momentum. And it's interesting because whenever I go out canoeing, this is the number one stroke that I see people using, uh, which is fine. It works, except for the fact that it's a huge waste of energy because with every forward stroke you're doing, you're you're basically putting the brakes on. So if you have a long way to go, you're going to just tire yourself out with uh, the River J doing that on flat water. So what you're seeing me do now in the video is called the regular J or just the J stroke. And you can tell it apart from the River J because if you can, if you notice the difference in my wrist between what I was doing before, I'm actually twisting my thumb down, the, the top thumb that's holding onto the grip of the paddle. It's uh, twisting down instead of putting, pointing my thumb up into the air. Uh, so it's that downward motion that you're looking for. And the benefit of doing it this way is that the prying part of the stroke or the curvy part of the J uh, when you're doing your correcting portion of the stroke is not slowing your canoe down. So it's keeping that forward momentum going and just it, it's just as effective in keeping you tracking in a straight line. So it's really great. Another way that you can tell these two strokes apart if you're still having trouble is to check which side of your blade of the paddle you're using to move your water throughout the entire stroke. So if you take a look at your paddle, there should be one face of the blade that has some kind of marking on it. So mine is a badger paddle and it has a badger paw on one side of the blade. So let's call this side of the blade the power face of your paddle and then the opposite is the back face of your paddle. So hopefully this makes sense without me being able to show you in real life but basically if you're doing the J-stroke correctly then that power face of your paddle is always going to be the side that is moving water whereas with the River J what's going to happen is that you're going to actually switch to the back face of your paddle to push that water away from your boat. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That's how I know to make more videos like this in the future. And I hope that this improves your paddling a bit and saves you some energy. I will see you again next Tuesday for more Queer Outdoor Ed. See ya.